Hey friends, how's it going? Today we're looking at something a little bit different over here at Hobbytown, the new Alpha Patrol boat. We'll get right to the boat, guys. Just a quick look at the box here. This boat is 21 inches in length, has an 8 inch beam, 60 amp waterproof ESC, and it has two 390 sized brushed motors. And this boat uses steerable jet pumps with impellers, so it doesn't have a rudder or an exposed propeller. Right here is everything in the box, the boat, boat stand, and transmitter. You do need four AA batteries and a two cell LiPo. And we'll be using this 5,000 milliamp two cell LiPo. Now the ESC does have an EC3 connector in the boat. So for this battery pack, we will need an adapter. Also in the box is your manual. You'll also find an American flag sticker, some Velcro strips, and a bind plug. The antennas are also in the box, stuck in a couple pieces of foam. These look like they're made out of brass. And this one comes with an STX2 2.4 gigahertz radio. And you've got your basic functions with steering and throttle reversing, throttle and steering trim, throttle and steering rate, and also adjustable throttle endpoint. And here's that wooden boat stand. All right, let's take a look at this boat. This is ABS plastic, and it does have some brass components, the rails, and also the antennas. The antennas by themselves in the box go in the front. All right, let's take a look at some details on this boat. Let's start at the bow and work our way back. Right up here in the bow, you have an anchor. I'll show you some of that detail. And then you have twin 50 caliber machine guns with the spotlight. So you can see this is actually movable. And if we take it out, there's the wire for the LED light. And there's actually a servo bay right in there. So you can set up a servo and make this so you can swivel it. The guns also tilt up and down. On each side, you do have these three tires. Second one, third one. That life preserver gives a lot of contrast on the green background. And apparently the color of this boat is not quite accurate, but you know, it's a ready to run model. You can't expect it to be perfect. And then we have our mast here with some LED lights. Looks like a radar dome, various antennas. And you can see the rigging detail there. We'll come around to the side here and you can see these railings. And these look like they are actually made out of brass. And then on top of the roof, you have another LED spotlight. So you can see right here that that railing is actually brass where the paint's chipped off. Got a fire extinguisher in there. Let's take a look at the other side real quick. There's quite a bit of detail actually inside there. It's just hard to see it. So I'll try to give you guys a look at it. You've got some levers. You've got the instrument panel. You've got a steering wheel. Continue to work our way back on the starboard side towards the stern. We have this section right here, M60 machine gun. And this one tilts up and down. 40 millimeter grenade launcher. And then all the way back here at the transom, we have another 50 caliber gun and a couple barrels. And this gun back here is fixed in position. And you've got some more of those brass railings. And then we get all the way back to the stern and we have our jet nozzles. Give you guys a look at the jet nozzles in the back. So these boats were designed to run in shallow water over rough surfaces. You can see it's very clean in the back. There's no rudder, no propeller sticking down, nothing to catch on. So as you can see, this boat does not have reverse as it is. You would have to modify it to get reverse. All right, let's take a look inside the boat. This section right here comes out and so does the canopy. Right inside there are the twin brushed motors and the impellers. Kind of hard to see in there, so I'll just shine a light real quick. And then the ESC has the on off switch right there. And you've got a flat space here where the canopy is so you could put some figures. And then right inside that little opening there is your receiver. So it looks like if you needed to get into the very back of the boat, you could take out these screws and lift out that plate and have access to the impellers and motors. And actually with this up, I can give you guys a better look at the coxswain stand. And you can see some more of that detail in there. I should give you guys a quick look at the port side as well. All right, let's plug in a battery and check out these LED lights. LED light on the twin 50 caliber guns, LED lights on the mast, and then you have a couple other spotlights right there. So this is enough light, you could probably run this in the dark if you were so inclined. That's nice, looks really good. Nice bright LEDs. And let me just give you guys a quick look at the steering mechanism. All right, guys, well, there it is. This is actually my buddy Jason's boat. He's been kind enough to let me talk about it, film it, and we're actually gonna take it over to the pond right now and run it, so I'm really excited. Let's go out and see what this thing can do. Ready to run your boat? Yes. 
Let's do it. All right. Much better. On. It's on. Ready to go? There's a lot of water here. And there's snow on Mount Diablo. Made in sail. <laughs> Whoa. Do you have to be really light on the steering? Yeah. There it goes again. Oh, it's, it's, the pause is waiting for the pumps to prime again. Is that full throttle? Yeah. So it's kind of a scale sort of speed, huh? It's not a really a speedboat. It looks good though. It whips around once you don't turn it too far. Yeah. So you could turn down the steering rate, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't steer under throttle because you're waiting on the props. Right. Yeah, it won't steer without throttle. Not bad for an RTR. Yeah, for an RTR it's excellent. There's some scale changes I'd like to make. But sure. So you're going to paint it and yeah. add a little more detail. What do you think the runtime's going to be with this 5,000 pack? 5,000? Probably quite a while. I don't know. Yeah, I would think so. Probably more than enough. Slow scale pass right here. That looks good, man. Full throttle. What do you think? I like it. Got a good look to it. Does it stop like a real one? Um, doesn't go backward at all. Motor's nope. going backward, but it's not doing anything. Doesn't want to do it, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to modify it to get that. Gonna have to modify. Check out those lights. <laughs> so you can turn this thing pretty tight. Okay, there you go. It's pretty good. So I put the camera down and just drove it for a couple minutes. And it's a lot of fun. It does take a little bit of getting used to the steering, but it runs well, it's smooth. It's got decent speed, it looks very scale. Overall, a very nice little ready to run boat. He's on patrol now.
I think now you're at least at 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. if not more. I don't know that I put the light bulb on. It should be set at two cell, right? I mean, that's what it's rated I for. Didn't turn it on. Oh, you didn't turn on the lipo no. cutoff? Oh. The more I think about it, the more I probably should stop. Yeah. Because, at uh, least until you get a cutoff. Because I don't know what the cutoff is. Is it half speed or is it shut down? Right, yeah. That's what we gotta figure out the lipo cutoff before you run this thing too much. Yeah. I don't feel like swimming today, so nope. I just left it off. I wouldn't swim in this. I've been in the water in Naples. This is kind of clean comparatively. <laughs> Easiest boat docking I've ever done. Nice job, man. Thank you. Very nice boat. So it had a little bit of water in it. Not too much. Oh, there. Let's see. Yeah, there's some water in there. <laughs> That's, oops. So it has a drain <laughs> plug. Ah, there's the draining. No, don't drink it. <laughs> Riley, hey, not for you. Take a quick look at the bottom of it. Hold it up. So you have those kind of grills to keep out the weeds mm -hmm. and stuff from getting in there. Bucket for reverse, but you'd have to install that. I found it for sale, but none that, none anywhere close to small enough to fit. All right, guys, look at the new patrol boat. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Jason for letting me film it. Nice running boat. Any questions, guys, please post below and I'll see you next time.